What is up everybody, Tony here, and today I'm going to show you where you could find the 8 animals in Red Dead Redemption 2 that are exclusive to the Gwarma portion of the game. This means that if you do not hunt these animals while in Gwarma during the main story of the game, you can actually miss out on them and never complete your entire compendium. Indeed, there is no legitimate way to return back to Gwarma once that portion of the story ends. Luckily, there are illegitimate ways to return back to Gorma. You can escape the game's main map by carefully maneuvering up and down the mountains at the northern part of the map, and then travel all the way to the loading zone of Gorma, which is located below the game's main map. I've made this video already carefully explaining the entire process, so check it out if you need help pulling off the trick yourself. So, while these animal locations are still the same if you're visiting Gorma normally through the game's story, in this video, I am in Gorma after completing the story, thanks to this map escape trick. I'm then going to show you how you could return back to the regular map with all of those Gorma Animal Compendium entries saved. Before we begin, I wanted to quickly clarify something. I've seen a lot of guides out there claiming that the Cuban Land Crab and the Green Iguana are Gorma exclusive animals. This is actually not the case. While they do show up in Gorma, they can actually be found at any time during normal gameplay if you just travel to the little island in the water here west of Rhodes. Now, before utilizing the map escape trick and entering Gorma, be sure to have a rifle equipped, because remember, you can't access your horse or its inventory while you're in Gorma. Unlike many of the other animals in the game that need to be killed using a certain weapon in order to yield that perfect drop, here in Gwarma, none of the animals yield any special or unique drops based on condition. That means our job here in Gwarma is to find each animal, study each animal, and then kill and skin each animal using any weapon. I suggest a rifle because we'll be shooting birds out of the sky, so you'll want a weapon like a rifle that could accurately shoot birds down from a distance. But first, let's tackle those snakes. There are four Gorma exclusive snakes, the Red Boa Snake, the Rainbow Boa Snake, the Sunglow Boa Snake, and the Fur de Lance Snake. All of these snakes can be found in the forest area just south of the Arroyo de la Vibora River. Specifically, the Red, Rainbow, and Sunglow Boas spawn right here on the map at the tip of the E. Meanwhile, the Fertiland Snake spawns a bit further southwest compared to the other three, and I found it right here. However, they do move fairly quickly, so in practice, I ended up finding them all over the forest south of the river. If the snake you're looking for doesn't pop up, you can reload the animal spawns in the area by saving your game and reloading the save, or killing yourself and respawning. I'll be honest, it took me about an hour to finally come across every Gwarma exclusive snake, and I had to do a lot of save reloading, so be prepared to possibly do that yourself. Next up, let's get the three macaws, the blue and yellow macaw, the great green macaw, and the scarlet macaw. All three of these birds are found resting on the river area of the map. Be sure to study them from afar using your binoculars, since getting too close can cause them to fly away. When you're ready, you can take them out using any weapon.
Finally, we get to the eighth and final animal, which is the red-footed booby. In my experience, this one was the toughest to find of them all, as it can only be found flying far overhead of the island. I was standing at the cliff south of the river, looking into the sky with binoculars, when I finally managed to stumble upon it. I quickly aimed my rifle, activated Deadeye, and was able to take it down. How quickly it appears seems to be entirely random, so basically my only advice is to keep a keen eye on the skies here, and when you finally do spawn one, quickly take it out before it gets away and you lose out on your chance. If it doesn't appear for you, remember to save and reload to reset the animal spawns in the sky. And with that, you have added all 8 Gorma exclusive animals to the compendium. Now there's only one thing left to do, return to the regular map. And that could be done by saving your game in a separate file, backing out of the menu, killing yourself, and then when you respawn, load the autosave that was just created. If done correctly, you should spawn here at the coast south of Rhodes, with all of your Gorma exclusive animal compendium entries intact. Now you can just save your game and continue to explore the regular map. If you like this video and want to see more fun Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online guides, secrets, tricks and more, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Rockstar has finally added some modes and changes to the Red Dead Online beta, so I look forward to jumping back into that mode and making some videos about any cool or helpful things that I might find. So look forward to that, thanks so much for watching everyone, and take care.